Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Where are we going next? Today, we're in Costa Mujeres and we're at the brand new Rio Latino. This is a brand new hotel that just opened up over the last couple of years. I believe it was 2022 that it opened up. This hotel is very, very similar to uh, the Rio Dunamar, which is just down the road from here. So one of the big differences between the two is that the Rio Latino, this hotel here, is adults only and the Rio Dunamar is a family hotel. So that might be one of the reasons you choose this one over the Dunamar. So there's some beautiful fountains out here and some vegetation, palm trees and gardens that welcome you to the hotel. The hotel has five swimming pools, which we'll check out a little later. And I believe it has four a la carte restaurants and then a main buffet. And uh, we'll take a look at all those as we navigate through the hotel. So I'm just walking up to the front entrance here. So this is where the lobby is and this little roundabout area where we typically start our videos is the roundabout that you'd be dropped off at the resort from the airport by your transportation. And as you come in the front entrance here, this is going to be the lobby area. So just to mention, since it is a Ryu hotel and not a Ryu Palace hotel, the lobby is an open air concept. So there isn't any air conditioning provided inside the lobby, but I can feel quite a cool breeze through the lobby here. So first impressions coming in the lobby. I do like the decor here. It's very, um, almost like it got a bit of like elements of nature to it with these hanging plants here. And then the walls, they're kind of like living walls with like plants, as you can see here. So wayfinding, as you come in the hotel here, and look off to, or come in the lobby and look off to the right. This is where the front desk is located. Straight ahead is the entryway down through the gardens to the beaches and the pools. And then over to the left side here is the, uh, the lobby bar called Velvet, which we'll take a look at in just a few minutes. Down this corridor here where these people are walking would be to the uh, gym and spa, and then to the theater and the shops. And then if I point over this way, there is another hallway that leads down around the corner to the left of the front desk that leads to the a la carte restaurants and the buffets. So we'll take a quick peek through the lobby here, just take a look at what's offered here. So I'll just uh, walk up here a little bit just to give you a sense of what the front desk looks like. I like the decor they've gone with here, very natural kind of wood looking vibes. We've got some more hanging plants behind the desk and the Ryu sign there. And if we come over this way, this is where the elevator is located just around the corner here to take you up to some of the upper level rooms. And I'll point out too that there is also a information screen here to give you uh, some information about the ins and outs of the hotel during the week you're here. And you can customize that, you know, just by scrolling up and down this uh, touch screen here and see the different things that are happening around the hotel while you're here. And you can switch to different days to see different activities that are happening as well. So there's the uh, Ryu Party advertisement, which happens at the Ryu Caribe. That's on Mondays. And you can get uh, free transportation to the Ryu Party in the Ryu Caribe as part of your all-inclusive stay here, which, is what's, which was really fun, the Jungle Party. We went to it yesterday and it was actually a lot of fun. Very, very much a party scene if that's what you're looking for. So again, just down the hall here, this is going to lead us to guest rooms. I like the artwork on the walls here. It looks quite nice. There is a money exchange desk just inside here if you'd like to exchange different currencies. And then coming back into the lobby area here, we'll walk over to the left side of the lobby and check out the lobby bar called Velvet. I'm liking the moody vibes inside Velvet right now. We've got some like dim lighting at the moment, which gives it a nice kind of romantic feel to it. Ooh, I like the setup in here. It's, they've got like little booths just along the side here. Oh wow. It's very nice. I can definitely tell the difference between the Dunamar and then this one being an adults only. It's kind of got a bit more of a mature vibe to it. And then here's the bar here. They'll have uh, all different kinds of cocktails, wines, beers, spirits for you to choose from, as well as coffees and things like that. And they have lots of cool non-alcoholic beverages as well. So I'll just point out too that they have QR codes that you can scan with your cell phone and that'll give you uh, access to the bar menu and you can take a look at some of the drinks offered here. So coming out of the lobby bar and then just turning left, we see some more furniture scattered throughout the lobby just to relax in. Okay, so just down the hall here, this is gonna lead us to the uh, sports bar, the gym and the uh, spa. And then just to the right of me here, I'll go in this a bit later on, but this is where the uh, resort shop is. So just a sneak peek there. And we'll continue on to the sports bar here. 
So here's the sports bar here. I like this like decor they've got going on here. It's very modern looking. So we'll go inside here. There seems to be a lot of people in at the moment. Maybe there's like a sports game on that's popular. So yes, we've got some pool tables here. Looks like in the corner there's also like foosball tables too. There's some cool uh, seating here and there's bench seating across the back. I like these uh, pictures they've got here just to kind of bring out the sports bar theme. And then here's a look at the sports bar just over here. So in the middle there is a big bar as well that's offered. They'll make you all kinds of drinks like we saw obviously in the, uh, in the Velvet Lounge as well. And that menu works here as well. So there's TVs on the walls, uh, so you can catch some of the sports games. And then uh, over on the right here, there is a business lounge. And then over on the left side, just over here, this is a uh, spot where you can grab some light, light bites in between meals. So I'll go show you some of the stuff that's offered here. Okay, so as you can see, there's a uh, sandwich press here if you wanted to make a sandwich. There's a microwave for warming up any uh, hot dogs and hamburgers, which we'll see in just a sec. We've got some pastries here, some fresh fruit. There's some uh, nacho cheese and then nachos as well. And then some condiments for your hamburgers and hot dogs, which are located inside the refrigerator right here. So one big difference here between the palaces and the Rio hotels is that here in the sports bar, they'll give you self-serve uh, alcohol as well. So you can pour your own beer from, the, from a draft tap. And also uh, there's just wine and champagne that you can pour for yourself. But that's not really much of a problem because there is the bar located right here too. So you're just steps away from uh, grabbing a drink here. All right, so just outside the sports bar and continuing down the hall, not really much to uh, mention down here except for washrooms, which are I think the closest washrooms from the lobby area, and then also a pathway leading out to the gardens and uh, access to guest rooms that are on the left side of the hotel. Okay, so turning around and on my left side now, right across from the sports bar, is the entrance to the spa and the gym. So I'm just gonna go inside here and see if there's anyone working out. I'll show you a sneak peek of the gym if there's no one in there. And then I'll see if I can get in the spa and show you some amenities that are in the spa if there's nobody inside receiving any treatments. All right, so I just came inside the uh, gym to show you some of the equipment offered here. It's quite a big gym actually. Um, there's lots of cardio equipment. So there's some spin bikes, uh, there's ellipticals, treadmills over by the windows over there. Lots of nice natural light coming in here. There's some uh, pulley machines over here in the corner. There's a multi-stack that you can do different exercises here in the middle. And then over here, there's some dumbbells and uh, benches to do some exercises over here. I like it, it's really nice. It's quite cool in here too, so it's perfect for doing some exercise. And then over here, they've got some uh, complimentary towels and then a water cooler over here too. So one thing I'll point out too, just outside here is where the spa is. They do have complimentary jacuzzi and steam room. And that's one of the things that I feel like not, not a lot of people know about when they come to Ryu hotels. And that's, that's part of your all-inclusive package. I'll put up an example of what it looked like at another hotel, the Ryu Palace that we went to. It'll be very similar. I wasn't able to go in during my time filming because there were people using the jacuzzi and I didn't want to disturb them. But um, hopefully this gives you a little bit of an impression of what the spa and the uh, jacuzzi look like here. All you need is a one hour reservation. You can do that ahead of time and you can uh, enjoy those complimentary services as part of your package here at Ryu. All right, and uh, of course inside the spa there are massage treatments and things like that as well. Those aren't part of your all-inclusive package so uh, you'd have to inquire about the price for those when you uh, arrive. All right, so coming down the hallway uh, from the gym and the sports bar and the spa, this is Velvet on my right. And then the main lobby is straight ahead, which we looked through already. But if we turn to the left here, this is gonna lead down another open air pathway. And to my left is the, is the resort store. Next to that is the uh, nightclub, Pacha. And then further on is Mariachi, the uh, theater here at the resort. So I'll take a quick little peek inside the store. Inside you'll find different apparels, souvenirs, snacks, and things like that. So I'll just show you a few things here. I'm not gonna to tour the entire store, but you can get a sense of some of the things offered here. If you wanted to pick up some souvenirs to remember your trip. Of course, there is some things like painkillers and uh, Tylenol uh, sunscreen and things like that if you've uh, ran out on your trip. All right, and then back outside, just uh, looking over the gardens here. Some of the vegetation is still a little immature, obviously just because the hotel has just opened a year ago. But um, if we give it some time, I'm sure some of the gardens will mature and look quite lush. 
but they do look like little babies at the moment to some of the plants around here. <laughs> okay, next to the store is Pacha. Pacha's the nightclub here. All right, just uh, asked one of the resort uh, workers here and they said Pacha is open at 11 o'clock till 2 a.m. and then on Sundays it's uh, day off. So you can enjoy a nightclub here um, most days of the week. Coming down this way, we've got some nice artwork on the wall here. And uh, carrying on through, this is where the resort theater is. And there's also some bars in here to grab some drinks. So the theater is called Mariachi. Another thing to note is this is where your tour operators will be located if you've come in with a tour operator. You can uh, meet them here to talk about any flight information or um, book any excursions you'd like to go on while you're here in Mexico. Here's the bar here that you can grab a drink at while you're watching the show. All right, so there's the main stage of the theater. There is another stage at the back here, and this is typically where they'll do live music uh, before and after the show, just for more entertainment. And then there is another bar just over here too um, that you can uh, grab a drink at just to kind of spread the people out during the uh, entertainment in the evenings. Just behind the theater there, you can see some of the guest rooms. Uh, that's the left side of the hotel if you're looking at the ocean. And the hotel is like a horseshoe, so if we turn around this way, passing by the pools just there, this is the right side of the hotel where the uh, other half of the guest rooms are. And uh, I believe there's around 600 rooms or so here in the hotel, which is quite a lot. But um, as I'm just walking around, it doesn't seem very busy at all. Uh, I'm sure most people are down by the pools at this moment, but the pools are pretty spaced out, stretching from all the way over here, all the way um, to the other side of the property. So they do spread guests out quite nicely here, which is a good thing. Okay, so we're gonna head back to the main lobby, and then I'll show you the uh, walkway in the hallway to get to the other side of the resort. Of course, you can just walk right through here, through the garden, um, but that'll lead to the a la carte restaurant. So we'll start right from the lobby. Okay, so I'm back inside the lobby now, just back towards the front desk, and then turning to the left, this is gonna lead us to the uh, a la carte restaurant offered at the hotel. Before we head down the hallway here to the left, I'll just point out as well that there are courtesy rooms offered here, just down this little hallway. So if you had a late checkout and you still wanted to enjoy the pools and the beach, but you don't have a chance to go back to your room to shower, you can use those courtesy rooms to get ready and shower off to, uh, before you head to the airport. So down the hallway here, the color palette kind of continues on through the hallway here. Looks quite nice, decorating the entrances to the different a la carte restaurants. This is Milan, it's our first a la carte restaurant, and it's uh, our Italian restaurant here at the hotel. The Italian restaurant opens a little earlier, it starts at 5 p.m. and goes till 10, and then I'll show you the menu here for the Italian restaurant. Um, and then, of course, the uh, lights aren't on right now, but this will give you a little bit of a sense of the decor inside uh, Milan, which is the Italian restaurant. Uh, down the hallway a little bit further is our next a la carte restaurant. This is Geisha, and Geisha is a Asian-inspired restaurant. Again, uh, this one's open a little later in the evening, 6, 6 p.m. till 9.30, and I'll show you the menu here for Geisha. And if I've gone a little too quickly, you can just pause to take a closer look. One thing I'll point out too, is that on these menus, or sorry, on the Ryu app, you can download that on your phone before you arrive, and you can start taking a look at some of these menu items right from home, and they've got pictures of all, all the entrees and appetizers, and most of the drinks as well on the menu, so you can get a sneak peek before you even head down to the resort before your vacation starts. I'll see if I can get a peek in here again. Just some different decor on the wall here, a bit more Asian inspired. Okay, coming out of Geisha and then turning over to the right, we have our third a la carte restaurant called Culinarium. This is a gourmet style restaurant, open from 6 till 9.30. And then here's the menu at the Culinarium restaurant. And I'll see if I can get a bit of a sneak peek inside culinarium too, which I can't quite get a good view of it here, but there's some of the decor inside culinarium. All right, and then continuing along here, this is gonna be our main buffet. It's called Moctezuma. So here's an entrance for it here. I think this is an entrance for dinner time. At the moment, lunchtime is being served. 
And if we look over to the left, this is the gardens that we uh, saw earlier. If I look over here, this is where we were touring through the theater and then Pacha and then through to the resort shops and back to the lobby. What I like about this hotel is it's actually pretty compact and very easy to get around. So if you do have like accessibility issues or you're not really one to, um, you're not really one for walking around a big resort, this resort's pretty nice and compact and might check your boxes off for um, limited walking. Okay, so I've just come down the hallway here and um, I just wanted to point out this is where most people will grab lunch if you wanted the buffet lunch, just inside this um, space here. And then the main buffet is all through in here that you can grab uh, lunch at, dinner and breakfast. Coming over this way, this is where the final a la carte restaurant is, the steakhouse. So it'll be opened up in here. So this is where this little space gets converted over into the steakhouse in the evening time. And I'll point out that the steakhouse is open from 6 till 9.30. And finally, the menu here for the last a la carte restaurant, the steakhouse. And one final thing I'll point out is that all the uh, a la carte restaurants here are first come first serve, um, which we didn't have a problem really getting a table at about 7 o'clock, 7.30. But if you have a larger party, you might want to come a bit earlier just to make sure you got your spot and you don't have to wait very long. And then just outside the doors to the buffet here, this is where you can see the different times that are offered for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Breakfast is 7 a.m. to 11 p.m. Lunch is 12.30 to 3.30, and then dinner starts at 6 p.m. and goes till 10.30. And then also, it'll show the um, availability for the different bars around the hotel. Our lobby bar, Velvet, was open, is open at 10 a.m. till midnight. Our pool bars, and then finally the sports bar, which was 24 hours a day, so you can grab a drink there all day or all night. All right, so coming out of the dining room area behind me here, and just turning over to the right, this is going to be the area where the pools and then further on from that the beaches are. And again, very, very close to pretty much all the hotel rooms here. I don't think it would be more than like a two or three minute walk to get out to the pools and the beach. All right. So I think one of the big highlights here that is in the pool area is definitely the water park. There's some uh, water slides that you can go down just over here. And remember, this is an adults only resort. So these slides are, these are for adults over here. There's no kids allowed here. So there isn't like a splash park, but there is a uh, water slide area and it just splashes into a pool that you would swim out of. Um, there's a very similar setup at Rio Dunamar where there's water slides as well. But in addition to that, in front of the water park, there would be like a whole splash pad for kids, but they don't have that here at the all-inclusive, or sorry, the adults only Rio Latino. So there are four pools. I think actually there's five pools um, here at the hotel. So each have a bit of a different vibe to them. There's a bit more of an activity pool. There's a quiet pool. There's pool bars as well. So you can kind of, depending on how you're feeling, you can uh, pick the pool that is right for you. So we'll take a look over here first. And what I'm noticing firstly from this pool is that there is a accessible entrance to get in and out of the pool. Just right here, there's a ramp with a railing going down into the pool area. There's lots of uh, shade all around the pool offered by these little pergolas, so that's really nice. And lots of loungers um, scattered around for all the guests. If we turn over this way, this is where the pathway down to the beach is going to be, so we'll see that a little bit later on. Over to my left is the uh, main pool bar area. So this pool bar here is called Tequila, and its uh, sister bar, which is on the other side of the pool deck, it's called Mezcal, which is kind of cool. So this is the pool bar. There's lots of people in the pool bar, in the pool at the moment, all enjoying their drinks or relaxing on these sun beds right here. So you can swim right up to the pool bar and uh, grab a drink there. I would say that, see if you can bring some money into the water and tip the bartenders before you start your drinking adventures, because uh, not a lot of people will carry tips with them into the pool. So see if you can uh, uh, show some love to some of the bartenders in the pool bar area here. Just behind me is Pepe's Food. So there's a lineup for the pool deck buffet. This is Pepe's Food where you can grab uh, burgers, french fries, nachos and things like that. So nice that you don't have to go all the way up to the buffet for a small bite to eat. Just in front of me to the left is where you can go to the washroom here on the pool deck. And then over this way to the right is another pool area. This one seems a little bit less activity over here so it's a bit more of a quiet pool if that's more your speed. And then just to the left of that, or where I'm standing right now, is where you can pick up pool towels for the day by exchanging your card uh, that you got during your check-in. 
So I just came to the left side of the pool bar area there and I just wanted to show you back here. I'll point out that there is a entrance here and a seating area as well. So if you didn't want to jump into the pool to grab a drink, you can still come up here to tequila and grab a drink here and lots of uh, seating here too. I believe during the week they also have a beach party and a fire party too, which they bring like fire dancers in and this is where they'll be, this is where they'll be doing that right here. But um, we just have to check the activity schedule to find out exactly when that beach party is. And I'm also noticing too, this is where the beach volleyball court is located too. So it's technically not directly on the beach, which is just further down here, but it is in the sand just over there. But yeah, there's definitely a cool beachy vibe to this uh, outdoor area here. You can see by the colors. I like that, uh, the accents on the ceiling here and then the benches over there kind of brings it together as this really airy beachy vibe here. Uh, in front of Tequila Bar. So I'm gonna walk through the next pool area and show you the uh, the next pools. There's some beautiful gardens here too. Some nice flowers that are in bloom as well. And uh, I'll just kind of pan over here so you can see the pool area, but I don't want to film people too closely as they're enjoying their time in the pools, but lots of sunbeds all along the pool area here. And um, you can see this is a quite a big pool too, so lots of room to spread out. And then we'll just walk all along here over to the next bar area. Okay, so I just came down this pathway right here. I want to maybe uh, point out too that although this sounds pretty quiet right now, there are some speakers and a stand set up over there. And I think that's where they'll come in and do some like afternoon games and it pump in some pretty loud music. So although this pool does sound pretty quiet at the moment, it probably will pick up in energy and activity a little later on in the afternoon. So turning over this way from the pool, this is another walkway down to the beach and there's a nice accessible ramp with a railing to get down to the beach area. And we'll go down, down there in just a second after we check out the last two pools. So this area over here is um, the bar Mezcal. So you can see that just right there. And there are washrooms inside this area right here to use while you're on the pool deck. All right, so I've just gone inside the pool area here. This is a, our last pool over here. And this is more of a like kind of water sport pool. You can see there's a water volleyball game going on right now. And this is the end of the resort here. So panning over this way, there's lots of people inside this little pool here. And this is another bar that you could swim up to and grab a drink at, Mezcal. So coming out of Mezcal and the pool areas, give you one last look at the pools and the, the uh, main hotel just behind it. And we're gonna turn over this way and check out the beach area. All right, so walking down the way here, I like that they have tiles here and uh, the Rio Palace Costume O'Harris, they have uh, like composite deck boarding and it's kind of like starting to like be uneven. So it's you know, a little bit more dangerous to walk down and trip. This one's nice. The tiles are perfect. Um, very, very easy to get down to the beach area. There's a shower here to shower off after you're done your beach day. And then the open beach area here where the volleyball was and the uh, tequila bar along with the beach party area just over there. All right, so heading into the beach area, I'll point out a couple things here that I'm noticing is it sort of they sort of have two levels to the beach. So two tiers, I would call them. Maybe there's a relaxing beach just right here. So not very much noise. Um, you can't really see the water too well from here, but there are chairs scattered all along here and all the way down. And then just in front of that, there's some uh, some vegetation, some uh, natural plants that kind of separate off the next area which is like right in front of the ocean. All right so I'm right in front of the ocean now. The waves are pretty big today but they are also at the uh, other hotels in Cancun too just because of the wind today. There is some seaweed here on the beach but um, there is a moderate amount in the water too but again probably just because of the storm. So one thing I'll point out too that's a little bit different is they don't have palm trees here at this part of the beach but they do have beach umbrellas to give you some shade. So that's pretty much it for the hotel, um, it's very much an identical layout as Dunamar, except it's adults only and not a family resort. There's lots to offer here. It's beautiful and brand new, nice and fresh with great artwork and decor. So I think we'll leave that here. Um, hope you guys enjoyed watching this uh, tour here at Rio Latino, the brand new resort that opened up in Costa Mujeres from Rio. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to find out where we're we going next.